Ashley, take one, A mark. My name is Ashley Hodd and I'm from Great Neck, New York. Growing up in a big family is always fun, a lot going on. Um, I'm the oldest of six kids and my two sisters are directly after me. And there was a time where all three of us danced and now one of my sisters stopped dancing, the other one is a dancer with Kansas City Ballet. So it's like a very familial um, and joyous thing that we all share together and it's really nice to be able to go home and they all understand what I'm talking about or if I'm complaining about something, they're there to listen. So it's great that we all get along and can kind of join in on that passion together. My first performance as an apprentice was in The Nutcracker. I remember so clearly when I got my apprenticeship with the company, it was actually during Hurricane Sandy in 2012. And I was in a really, really bad mood because my entire house had lost power and we were all so cold and the fridge wasn't working. It was just a disaster. And I just remember sitting on the couch being really upset because the people that lived in the dorms at SAB got to continue taking classes, but the commuting students couldn't go in. And so I felt like I was missing out. And I remember getting a call from Kay Mazo and I went into the bedroom and she had told me that they needed dancers for Nutcracker and that I would be able to start on Tuesday. And so my whole family went from being so upset to being so ecstatic and it was just the best day. And I actually still have that voicemail from Kay asking her to call me back. And from time to time, I'll listen to it again. And it brings back all those memories. I'm a very superstitious person in kind of a weird way. This beauty mark or mold that I have on my chin, I darkened it with eyeliner for a show very early on in my career. And now I cannot go on stage without putting a little bit of eyeliner there. And it does nothing for my makeup ritual, but it's just something I have to do. The first thing that I would not be able to live without, and this sounds so terrible, but it is my phone. I'm always super connected to my family at all times. I have a family group chat where we share photos of the dogs and just catch up on things. And so I feel like I would be lost if I couldn't connect with my sisters or my brothers at some point throughout the day. And then my second thing would probably be my engagement ring because I'm recently engaged and I don't really hold on to like personal possessions that much or they don't hold that much value to me, but this is really special to me. My guilty pleasure would probably be a couple of things. Number one, Krispy Kreme donuts I love, and I can never eat just one. I have to get like a half a dozen or a dozen and eat as many as I can in one sitting, like usually till I feel sick. Guilty TV show would be the Kardashians for sure. I'm obsessed. My fiance, Andy, will pretend like he doesn't care when I'm watching it, but then he'll walk by the hallway and stop, and then he'll listen and then ask a million questions about each of them. My favorite book is called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. It's a self-help book, and it was given to me as a gift by my aunt. She gave it to me in 2012, I believe, like right before I got into the company. I was struggling a lot with just like comparing myself to other people and feeling like I wasn't gonna be good enough to get into a company, especially New York City Ballet. And I remember she sat me down to lunch and she gave me this book and she was like, read this book and just kind of try to change your thoughts and you know, things will work out for you. And that's exactly what I did. And then a couple months later, I got into City Ballet and I'm just a huge believer now in like attracting good things into your life and thinking positively. And I think that that kind of shapes the person that you are and it helps, you know, influence those around you in the best possible way.